Swift Style, Garcia, and welcome back to the Scratch Crate. All right, so first things first, I know the turntable that you saw in the intro and the turntable that you see right here is completely different. Actually, I filmed that intro about a week or two ago, and I meant to do this video a lot sooner. Just got super busy with other things, and it didn't happen. And long story short, I gutted that turntable and fixed my old PDX 3000. A while back, I fried something in here by leaving it on overnight. Uh, tried to fix that, and I think I just made matters worse. Uh, ended up having to replace the board and the transformer to the motor. But yeah, that was pretty much the reason I picked up that PDX 2000 from the Homie Mix Mash was to gut it and get this thing back up and running. And if you don't already know by now, the Vestax PDX 3000 is my favorite turntable for scratching. And while we're on updates, I might as well let you guys know, uh, this weekend at scratchbreak.com, we had a huge 25% off everything Labor Day sale. Uh, and I was supposed to get this video out on Friday to announce it to all of you on YouTube. But because I didn't, and this video is getting out Monday night or Tuesday morning, I'm gonna extend the sale for one day. Uh, you can click the link down below. Uh, actually, here's a picture, and there's a promo code, which is cut it up. 25% uh, off anything at scratchbreak.com. We're extending it one day because I was slacking on getting this video out. So yeah, that's for you guys. All right, so on with the episode, and as you already noticed in the title, today we're having a listen to Fresh Out Codes, 12-inch record by the homies, Flavor G's out of Spain. As you can see here, the Fresh Out Codes A side is laid out in 100 BPM, and the So Sharp is Ultra Pitch at 133 BPM. I dig the artwork on this. Originally, I thought this was a tire mark, uh, but when I looked closer, I could tell that this was <laughs> definitely the grooves of a record. So this is on a white vinyl. And one thing that I wanna pay attention to here, or I wanna, or I wanna show you guys, is the actual opening uh, typically, the artwork of records, the opening is on the side, but this one is on the top. And I actually like that because if you put this in your record crate, uh, you see the artwork right side up, not uh, this direction. But yeah, that's something small, but here, let me grab another record and I'll show you. I'll just grab this one, which is Scratch Fossils by Mosh Chops Cut and Paste. You can also find this on scratchbreak.com. But look, the opening is on the side. I'm not too sure which I prefer, but I definitely appreciate that, especially considering that I put these in crates. But yeah, anyways, let's put the needle on the record. All right, so since this record is an ultra pitch record, um, it's got the same samples on side A as side B. So we're gonna listen to the so sharp ultra pitch side only. And I'm gonna play a beat and we're just gonna match the tempo and play along with it. We've tried this format once before and I'm gonna try it again on this one. And I know you guys are gonna ask, this beat is from the fifth wave looper from Broke. I will link it down below. All right, I like the way they use the title of the record or they found samples to create the title on here. Sounds like Ice Cube. Yeah. What the hell was? Yeah. What the hell was? 
All right, so they're using the ah again. Uh, I'm not too sure how I feel about that. I, I personally feel like uh, that's a lot of real estate on the record, but I can see that they put a sentence together at the end uh, right here. What the hell was that? So you can work that together. You can see how much real estate I'm talking about. The ah uh lasts from here to here. And they already used that on the first track, so. Yeah. I do like that. Once again, they're using the fresh twice on here, uh, but like the other one, they put it, you know, they put a sentence together to get to it. I like that. Actually, these two samples are two of my favorite short samples. Um, I like the way they used uh, the high pitch uh, punch sound and then they used the low pitch punch sound over here. That's dope. Alright, moving on. Alright, so we've got a drum track. For all you drummers out there. got a bass track and it sounds like more bass with a couple hits some chords So like I mentioned earlier, this is an ultra pitch record with 133 BPM on this side and 100 BPM on the opposite side. So you're gonna hear the same samples uh, just for a non ultra pitch turntable on the other side. You might be missing a couple samples just because obviously you got a lot more rotation when it comes to ultra pitch. So to get the best out of this record, uh, I would recommend using an ultra pitch turntable. All right, so one thing that I do want to touch on about this specific release, uh, if you've been listening to break records that have been coming out in the last five years, 
Uh, you might have heard a couple of these samples on them, but Flavor G's put this together in their own unique layout, and that can help us cutters put together some pretty crazy patterns. And there's definitely some new stuff on here as well, and you gotta give props to that. But filling an entire record up with completely new samples is no easy task. So yeah, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like I said earlier, if you want to pick this record up at a 25% off, uh, you can take advantage of the Labor Day sale. I'm going to extend it one day for you guys. Uh, scratchbreak.com, you can find a link below. Keep scratching. Peace.